Hello friends, this video on cell cycle and cell division part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Going to begin. So what happens in metaphase, metaphase? Again, the bivalent chromosomes align on the equatorial plate, very similar to how it happened in case of mitosis. So these chromosomes, they will get connected to the spindle through their kinetochores and now they will all be aligned at the equator and this is known as the metaphase plate. But here if you see how many you have, how many chromosomes in case of uh, mitosis, you just had four. But now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here the bivalent chromosomes align on the equatorial plate. Now this alignment is again due to the co continuous counterbalancing forces exerted on exerted on these chromosomes by the microtubules. So that is why they get aligned at the equator and this is known as the metaphase plate. Spindle fibers attached to homologous chromosomes as you all know. So now you just see the number of count of the chromosomes here is different from the number of count of the chromosomes in case of mitosis. But otherwise the concept remains the same. The third step that is anaphase, what happens here? The homologous chromosomes will separate. Please note here that it is not the chromatids which is getting separated, but the homologous chromosomes which are getting separated. In case of mitosis, what happened was you had one chromosome. So what was getting separated? The chro sister chromatids were getting separated. This was the case in case of mitosis. But in this case, you have two homologous chromosomes together. So what is getting separated? The chromosomes, homologous chromosomes are getting separated. So it is not the chromatid which is getting separated, but the chromosomes which are getting separated here in case of meiosis. So that is the difference between meiosis and mitosis, the, this stage especially, the anaphase. The sister chromatids attached at centromere. The sister chromatids are still attached at the centromere. So here it is still there. So also the cell lengthens because of the non-kinetochore microtubules. The concept is still the same. The kinetochore microtubules, those microtubules which are connected to kinetochores of chromosomes, they are trying to pull the uh, homologous chromosomes towards opposite poles. However, the non-kinetochore microtubules, they will stretch and they will lengthen the cell. So there will be an elongation of the cell at the same time, the uh, homologous chromosomes will separate, they will move towards opposite poles. Now the last phase of meiosis 1 that is telophase 1. In this case the nucleolus will reappear, nuclear membrane will reappear. So if you see here, Again, they got separated at the two ends. They reached two ends, nuclear membrane, nucleolus, all these things will reappear. Cytokinesis will start. So once the cytokinesis starts, it will break up into, the cytoplasm will get divided and it will break into two separate cells. So what will be the result? The result will be two daughter cells with half number of chromosomes. So you have two daughter cells with half number of chromosomes. Correct? So here if you see the number of chromosomes have reduced to half. So this ends your meiosis 1. Now this is not the end. So in meios this meiosis 1 effectively ends when the chromosomes arrive at opposite poles. So the ideal result would be that each daughter cell has half the number of chromosomes. But there are few exceptions. There might be few cells which do not enter, which might enter into a resting phase. So what is a resting phase where the cell doesn't divide? So they enter into a resting phase which is often known as interphase 2. It is a very short-lived stage and don't, don't, no DNA replication will occur in that stage. We will talk about that resting phase, phase very soon. So if you see, we started with this in prophase. So in prophase, you had one, two, three, four chromosomes here, four chromosomes here. So total you had eight chromosomes in one cell. Now how many you have? One, two, three, four. So here you have four, here you have four, and here you had eight. So the chromosome number has reduced to half, right? By the end of meiosis one. 
Now, as I said, there are certain cells which who, which get tired by this time and they do not want to divide any further. So they enter into a resting phase where they do not undergo any division. And this phase is known as interkinesis. So this is basically the stage between two mitotic, two meiotic divisions. So be, between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, interkinesis is the stage. It is a very short-lived stage, not for a very long time. For a short time, no DNA replication will not... Uh, okay, one more thing is that not all cells will enter this stage. Only some cells will enter this stage. No DNA replication occurs during this stage. So if no DNA replication is occurring, so basically there will be no further cell division. So it is, it is something like... Okay, I have completed meiosis 1, let me take a break, then I'll start working on meiosis 2. So that kind of a stage is interkinesis, which is, uh, which, which is not uh, the case for all the cells, only for some cells. They need a rest or a break between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. And this is known as interphase 2 or interkinesis. So this is also known as interphase 2. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.